Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 They that are watching us, we welcome you all. Amen. We pray that the grace of God will locate you wherever you are. And I pray that by the grace of God, whomsoever is finding life difficult, the Lord by his grace will bring deliverance, set you free, and remove every burden away from you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, beloved, let's take our Bible and go to the Word straight. I'm going to share something with you tonight that is a demand for every believer. Every child of God, you need to have this. We're going to study a theme tonight, and we'll continue off next week again, because it's very, very important that every believer should have this in their life and in their walk with God. Amen. Amen. Our theme for tonight is be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous. Le thème de ce soir doit être puissant et nécessite d'être courageux. Être courageux et être fort. Be strong and courageous. Sois courageux et fort. Papa, can you hold it tonight? We're going to go straight English. Okay. Yeah. Merci. Amen. Thank you. And uh, if you can sit close to Mama and help her for me. Thank you. Be strong and courageous. So the why, why do we have to be courageous? Why do we have to be strong? How? And what is a biblical courage? What is a biblical courage? What does it stand for to be courageous in the word of God? Those are the things that we're going to be studying tonight, and I pray that you will pay a good attention. Amen. Let us take our Bible to the book of Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 through 9. The book of Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 through 9. Mm -hmm. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' aid. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now then, you and all these people, get ready to cross the Jordan River into the land I am about to give to them, mm -hmm. to the Israelites. I will give you every place where you set your foot, as I promised Moses. Mm -hmm. Your territory will extend from the desert to Lebanon, and from the great river, the Ephrates, all hit the Hittite uh, country to the Mediterranean Sea in the west. Take your time. No one will be able to stand against you mm -hmm. all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous. Because you lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their ancestor to give them. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left. That you may be successful wherever you go. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Keep this book of the Lord Always on your lips. Always on your lips. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Mm -hmm. Meditate on it day and night. Meditate on it day and night. So that you may be careful. That you may be careful. To do everything written in it. To do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Then, as you do the word, 
dead. Amen. Amen. So we're going to study this through. And I pray that by the grace of God, we will understand this. Be strong and courageous. So let's begin by studying why. Why do we have to be courageous? Last week, I told you that fear, if fear controls you, your faith will not work. And you cannot encounter the grace or the power of God in your life. So as a child of God, you need to learn to remove fear out of you. You need to learn to control yourself when, it's, when you are with the Lord. Don't let fear and panic control you. Don't let anything that is of trouble control you. For God knows where he is taking you. It may be tough, it may be difficult, it may be challenging. But God's presence goes with you at all times. Amen? And because his presence is with you, you need to know that your faith is in him, not in the situation. Your faith is in the Lord, not in the situation, not in the circumstances. Wherever you place your faith will either be a you know, strong faith or weak faith. Amen? So make sure that your faith is in the Lord. Because he is, has control. He has power. He has dominion. He has authority over every challenge, every circumstances. Amen? And because God is the one that is taking you through that journey, you need to trust him that he will take you to the end. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen? So if you have that faith in God then courage will take place. You'll be more confident. When you have confidence, you will gain courage. Amen? And that courage will become a strong courage. Amen? So you need to always possess courage. Why must I have it? Because you were born to face and conquer giant for his glory. Amen? You were created to conquer giant for the glory of God. Amen? So you are made. That's how God made you. He made you to fight. You are a fighter. You are God's army. Amen? You possess the quality, the authority to control your environment. Amen? So you were made to conquer giant in life. Amen? Some have small giants. Some have bigger giants. And, you know, the way your situation seems like will determine what kind of giant you are fighting with. Amen? So let us always mind our, you know, place our focus in God. Trust him to the end. Have confidence in him. Knowing that he has control. He has authority over our lives. And therefore, nothing not, nothing puts you into fear. Nothing panics you. You are not afraid of anything. You know that God, who has begun a good work in you, that God will surely finish it. He will surely accomplish it all to his glory. Amen. And anytime you exercise your faith in that manner, you see the glory of God. Amen. Let's see something. Go to the book of Numbers chapter 13. Verses 31 to 33 for me. Mm -hmm. But the men who had gone up with him said, we can't attack those people. We cannot attack those people. They are stronger, stronger than we are. They are stronger than we are. And they spread among the Israelites... They spread among the Israelites uh -huh. a, bad report a bad report about the land, about the land they had explored. They have explored. Uh -huh. they, said, they said, the land we explored mm -hmm. devours those living in it. The, the land devours the, those who live in it. Uh -huh. All the people we saw there, All the people we saw there are of great size. Are great size. Uh -huh. We saw the Nephilim there. 
Mm -hmm. The descendants of Anak mm -hmm. come from the Nephilim. We seem like grasshoppers in our own eyes. Amen. It says we seem like grasshoppers, like in our own eyes. If we look at ourselves, we look like gra grasshoppers. Amen. You see, sometimes your situation can make you feel like you are vulnerable. It make you feel useless. It make you feel like you cannot do anything about it. It make you feel like your life, life has ended. Nothing good will come to you. The same thing happened to the Israelites. Just imagine a, human, a, a whole human being is comparing himself to a grasshopper. Amen? Fear will make you behave this way. When you are fearful of many things, little thing becomes bigger, bigger in front of you. So when they saw the Anax, they saw people that are huge, people that are bigger than themselves. They forget the God that they serve. They forget the power of God, the ability of God upon their lives. Amen? Amen. So it is also with you. In terms of your trouble, in terms of your challenges, in terms of your situations, sometimes we tend to forget who God is in our lives. We tend to walk away from God, thinking that God has forsaken us. God is not in the midst of the situation. God is not part of the challenge. God is not doing nothing. So when things are like that, it puts us into a confusion place. We cannot think clearly. We cannot reason well. Everything is against us. Amen? And we always tend to focus on, you know, places that we are not supposed to focus on. Places that we are not supposed to focus in. And then we put ourselves into more confusion. The same thing happened to the Israelites. You know, the land that is flowing with milk and honey was promised to them by God himself. Go and take possession of that land. Go and, that land belongs to you. I gave it to you. But you need to fight. In order, to, in order for you to win your battle or to conquer your enemy, you need to be bold. You need to be courageous. You need to be stronger. Amen? Don't exercise weakness in this life and think that you're going to be, you know, successful. Life is a battle. It's a challenge that we all go through. Every one of us is fighting one way or the other. Amen? So whatever your battle is, be strong and more courageous. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. Don't panic. God is with you. And because you are with God, you can, you can conquer that battle. You can be a winner. You can be successful. You can be the head and never the tail. Everything will come together for your good. Amen? So this is why you're supposed to have courage. You see how the Israelites... Even though God has spoken and given them a promise, but they saw themselves as victims already. Some of us see ourselves as victims in our struggles, in our challenges. Amen? And when that is in place, you cannot see the glory of God. Why must we have courage? Every promise of God has the opposition of Satan. Every promise of God has the opposition of Satan. That's why you need to be strong. You need to be courageous. Every promise of God has an opposition from Satan. Satan will oppose you. He will, he will try to fight you. He will try to confuse you. Amen? And because you are courageous, you don't let those things trouble you. You don't let those, th those things become a hindrance. You still believe in your God, knowing that God is with you. And because he's with you, you reach the end successfully. You cannot fail. You cannot live a life of disappointment. You can never be stagnant in life because his grace is upon you. He sustains you and moves you forward. 
Amen? So you continue to move until you become a success. You continue to move until you become a winner. You are not a quitter. Amen? You are not a victim. You are not a problem. So don't see yourself as such, but see yourself as God's child, a servant of God, a believer who believes in Jesus Christ. And because you are with Jesus, you are a winner. You are a success. You are victorious. You are the head. You can never be the tail. Amen. Always see yourself as such. When you see yourself in that way, you can become what God has created you to become. And you are not the problem. Amen. The riches of this world against is, is I, no, he's against the riches of this world. Satan is against the riches of this world. So if you try to be rich, try to be successful, always mind it that you never take it easy. You encounter many troubles, many challenges on the way. But because you know that the riches, you know, you know the world can create you know, money. They can manufacture money. But when it comes to riches, it is God who blesses. It is God who gave it to us. Amen. So you focus on what God is telling you, not what the situation is telling you. Because God never fails us. Amen. Let us see something. Go to the book of Matthew with me. Let's see Matthew. Matthew chapter, chapter 4, verse 8 to 10. Mm -hmm. see, see how the devil work with Jesus Christ. You know, and if the devil will do this with our master, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, as we are reading, please think about it for yourself. Amen. So continue, please. Begin. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain mm -hmm. and showed him all the kingdoms of the world mm -hmm. and their splendor. All this I will give you, he mm -hmm. said, mm -hmm. if you will bow down and worship me. Mm -hmm. Continue, please. Mm -hmm. Jesus said to him, away from me, Satan. Away from me, Satan. For it is written, mm -hmm. worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Mm -hmm. Then the devil left him and angels came and attended and him. And attended him. Amen. Amen. This is the word of God. If you go back to uh, the very first verse that we read, verse 8. Hmm? No, no, no. Matthew, Matthew 8, Matthew 4, 8, verse 8. If you read from there coming down, you will see that Jesus was in a situation. What situation was he, was he in? Hmm? He was fasting and waiting upon the Father. Right? So through that waiting, Satan did not ca came to him from the beginning of his journey. Amen? He, did not ca he never came to him at that time. He waited until Jesus was weak. Anytime the enemy will come against you, he will come in your weakness, where you are weak, where things are not going well with you, where things are not, you know, properly together, things are not coming together for you. That is when he will come. When he comes into the midst of that weakness and you are not careful, you will give up. You will lose the battle. That's why so many people quit and then they go to other places to seek for help. But you as a child of God, because you are so courageous and you are strong in the Lord, you don't let those things panic you. You don't let them confuse you. You don't let them bother you. Because you know that these are meant for your victory. They are meant for your breakthrough. 
They are meant for your success. They are meant for you to reach your destination. Amen? So you always, you know, put yourself together to overcome those challenges and to live the life that will glorify your God. Amen? When we are in that kind of position, whatever happens around you, you know that God is working behind the scene. He's doing something that you cannot see. He's preparing something that will blow your mind. That will, that will you know, turn your sadness into happiness. Amen. So you don't let those things bother you. You need to always gather yourself to be courageous, to be strong, knowing that my God is my battle fighter. He's the one that is leading me. He's the one that is walking me through this life. He will never forsake me. He will never deny me. I'll reach my goal no matter what because God is by my side. He is on my side and he's working for me. Amen. Jesus never failed. He never failed the father. You see what he did? He allowed Satan to offer him the whole world. He said, just look. Everything that you see, I will give it to you. They become yours. Just imagine somebody that the entire world belonged to. Satan took him to a city and showed him the city and tell, told him that this city will belong to you. You see how it is. Always know this for, for yourself. God is working something great on the side. And because you cannot see, the enemy will always bring you a small thing to show you. And if you focus on those things, you will miss the bigger one. You can never have it. Amen. So always tend to turn away from the, from the, the picture that the enemy is showing you. Don't focus on those pictures, but focus on what God is going to do for you. Because he said, I, I know the plans that I have towards you. I know the plan that will make you successful. I know the plan that will make you great. I will know the plan that will make you prosper. I, will, I know the plan that will walk you into your greatness in life. Just follow me and focus on me. I will take you there. Amen. So courage is very important. If you are not courageous in the things of God, you always buy things very cheap. You always find an easy access. You try to always look, look for things that will not be beneficial to you. Easy way, easy things, things that are cheap, that has no value. We chase after those things. Amen? But if you follow God, always make sure that you, are, you don't let anything bother you. Because you know what you want. And you know how far you can go. You know how far you can reach. You know what you can do in your life to become the woman and the man of God that you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So Jesus did not quit. But he allowed Satan to sell. He sold all his, what he has to say, sell to Jesus. And Jesus picked it up and threw it back at his face. Amen? You see? That is the key. You don't buy it. You don't take it. But you reject it. That's why the Bible says that resist. The word resistance means stop him by force. Amen? And because you are not accepting it, it's not yours. It can never be yours. But the moment you accept it, it becomes yours, whether you are a believer or non-believer. Amen? And that's how Satan works. So tonight, I just want to encourage you, be courageous, be strong. Be strong and courageous, knowing that your God is in charge, in control, in authority over everything that concerns you. Amen? And you are not alone. Jesus said, get out of here, Satan. Get out of here. You see? So that is how you resist Satan. You command him to get out. Leave right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I am not your candidate. Whatever you are planning, 
and showing me right now is unacceptable. I reject them all. I know where I'm going, and that is where I'm going now, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen? So you don't accept those things that is shown to you. Amen? You want a bigger victory, not a smaller victory. Amen? He knew that, you know, the reason why you have to have courage is that we are fighting a sinful world, world, the life that we are living in, and the nature of things that we see day by day. Amen? A sinful world fight against you as a believer. The sinful world always fight against you, the believer. Amen? That is why you need to be courageous. You need to be strong. Amen? If you read Genesis chapter 3, you will find out that after Adam and Eve ate the forbearing fruit, amen, Satan, who was a snake, was cursed. After he was cursed, God cursed the woman and told the woman that with pain, you will give birth to children. Right? Curse is the ground because you, through painful toil, you will eat of it. So God cursed the woman and then he cursed the man. He says, you will give birth through pain. And you also, you are going to work upon this ground. But this ground will never give you what you need, what you want. You will suffer for it. Amen? That was the case. So in the beginning, from the beginning, we have a battle that we are fighting day by day. The land was cursed. Woman supposed to give birth naturally, normally, without any stress. But because of disobedience, he says you, you will face pain. You will go through pain before giving birth to a child. Amen? And when he said that, it was an indication that battle has begun. Challenge has begun. Amen? So from that time coming, we are all going to face the same challenge in life. We are not going to pick it up easy. We are not going to find it very easy. Things are going to be very difficult. That's why the Bible says that, you know, in the kingdom of God, you know, we, 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 it says the kingdom of God suffers violence, and the violence take it what, by force. What does it mean? The kingdom of God suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. The violent one is the one that is strong and courageous. Never quit attitude. They have an attitude that they never quit. They never lose hope. They are always on the go. They know that God can do it. God can bring it to pass. He can change it. God can restore it. God can settle it. They depend totally upon God. They don't depend on their own understanding. Amen. So if you want to see God move, be strong and courageous. You see, after Moses died, the verse that we just read from Joshua chapter 1, verse 1 go, going. He said, Joshua was with Moses. He saw the signs and wonders that Moses performed, how God used him greatly, how God manifested himself through him. Even the word of God said, God, God himself said that with Moses, I speak face to face. Which means that Moses has an he had an encounter with God. And through that encounter, there was a relationship between him and the Father. He was able to see God, hear God, physically. Amen? So God was with him, and Joshua was a servant to, to Moses. Seeing a man that is speaking to God directly. Now this man that is performing miracles, parting the sea 
for the Israelites to walk on the, on the ground. You know, all the miracles that he performed, he saw them all face to face. Now this man, this, so, this powerful man is about to die. He has already died. You saw him that he is no more. He has died, died and is ready to be buried. And now all the Israelites are looking at you. The Israelites are looking at you. They know that because you are so close, you are the next. Amen? And if you look at the performances of this man, what God has used him to do, the great thing that he has done, you are going to carry those things upon your shoulders and to replace him. Amen? So from the beginning, when he saw that the man Moses was dead, fear entered him. He was confused. He has no hope. He doesn't know what to do. But in the midst of it, he heard a voice from God saying that, be strong and courageous. Amen? Because God knows that when he speaks, fear always vanishes. When God opens his mouth, fear has no control. Darkness has no control. Trouble has no control. Amen. So in, through the panicking, he did not know what to do until he heard the voice. When he heard the voice, he did not stay behind the voice, but he, he followed the voice. He started making a movement, forward movement, not backwards. Amen. So as a child of God, you always move forward. You don't move behind or backwards. You always move forward. Amen? You don't move backward. Backward means that you are, you are scared. You are afraid. Amen? You are panicking. Amen? When you are in that mood, nothing works properly. Nothing, nothing good happens. So he says, be strong and courageous. Don't focus on the, those things. But you meditate upon my word day and night. And as you focus on my word... Just speak my words back to me. You know, declare my word back to me. You know, he says, even the, utter those words. Let the words come out of your mouth. That is the command. So as a child of God, what does it tell you? It tells you that be a student of the word. Read the word for yourself. Let the word come out of you. When you are in trouble, speak the word over the trouble, over the situation, over the circumstances. Now we seek for prayer more than the word of God. We don't focus on the power of the word. We focus on what a man of, a man of God can do for you. And the Bible says that curse be on anyone that place their faith, their trust in a man. Amen. So when that is in place you are making that person becomes your God. And when that person is no more, you will not have anything to stand on. Your life will be troubled. We need to always learn to be confident, you know, place our confidence in the Lord and place our hope in him, knowing that our God is in charge, he's in control. He will do it again and again. He can never fail us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That is how we overcome. Amen. Let's read the book of Romans. Romans chapter 8, verse 20 to 21. For the creation was subjected to frustration. The creation. So if the word of God is calling this, what is he talking about? The creation is subjected for frustration. Amen? Which means that the things that God has created is subjected for frustration. We are all, so, so many of us are being frustrated. Even the, the, the weather today is frustrated. <laughs> things were not right from the morning till now. Amen? So it says the creation was subjected to you know, to frustration, which means that frustration will come through because 
we were, we were all created. God created all of us. Everything. You know, the thing that you are sitting on, somebody created it. The car that you drove here, somebody created it. The computers that we use at home, at work, somebody created them all. That computer can put you into frustration for the whole day. That car you drove in today can give you a headache for the whole day. Amen? So the creation is subjected to, you know, frustration. So we see frustration day by day. It comes and goes. It comes and goes. Some, it, sometimes it comes and stay for a long time, and then you get out of it, and then you, you find yourself at peace for a while, and then you enter into another one. Frustration, 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 frustration. That's what the Bible is saying. Now continue. Not by his own choice. Not by his own choice. But by the will of the one who subjected it. By the will of the one who subjected it. Who is the one he's talking about here? Satan. Amen. Finish it, please. In hope that the creation itself will be liberated from its bondage to decay. To decay. So it's like you, the frustration will continue and the bondage will continue until you die. Amen. That's how Satan created it. So in this picture that you just, I just described to you, if you are not strong in faith, if you are not courageous in the things of God, hearing this alone, you know that your frustration is permanent. It cannot, go, it cannot end. But because you serve the almighty God, who is the creator, who created all things, he has power to change. He has power to transform. He has power to restore. He has power to settle. He has power to make it happen in a positive way. So what we need to do is to make sure that our focus is on, in the one who created all things. Amen. If our faith is in him, this will never be a problem. The frustration will never, never be ours. Because he has promised you that he can turn your tears into laughter. Amen. Your sadness into joy. So that God has power to restore. He has power to give you everything that you need. That is what we need to place our faith in. Where we need to place our faith. And to trust him continuously. Knowing that he is in charge. He is in control. He is in authority. He has power over everything. Amen. And if we have that, we will know. This is why you need to be courageous. This is why you need to be strong. Because your prayer cannot be effective if you are weak and you have fear and panic all over you. But if you are courageous and you are strong in the Lord, your prayer will be more effective, more powerful, more strong. You'll be able to move forward with the Lord and achieve every great thing that God has set for you. Amen? Are we here? God, God is calling us to life, you know, to live a life of blessings. He's calling each believer to live a life of bless, his blessings. He never called you to live a life of struggle. That is not why you are called. You are called to live a life of blessing in the Lord. Because you are the career of his glory. His glory has to be upon you to show the world that your God is alive. Your God is, you know, he's a miracle worker. He's a provider. He's a way maker and a restorer. Amen. So if there's nothing upon you to show the world, what will be your message? What will be your message? Amen. So there should be an evidence showing that your God is who he said he is. Your God is who he, de he claimed to be. Because he claimed to be the creator, the giver of life, the giver of blessing, the giver of prosperity, the giver of success. Then success has to be part of your life. 
That blessing has to be part of your life. The greatness has to be part of your life to be an indication that he is with you. They that believe in me, signs and wonders shall follow them. Amen. Amen. They that believe, they that believe, as long as you believe, there's something that you have to carry in the Lord. That should be your identity. That should be what, how you should be known for. Always be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the promised land. Amen. You will lead many people to come into the Lord through your testimony, through your lifestyle, through what you carry. Amen. So you are not a victim. You are a victor. Amen. You are a victor. You have the victory already in God. Growing in God's plan and power for your life means learning to solve problems, then, then overcome pain, and finally conquer principalities. This is our duty and our role. Our role is to solve problems, and then we show also overcome pain, the struggle of life, challenges of life, situations of life. We need to overcome them. And as we overcome, we also need to have power over principalities and powers. Because those are the battles that we face in life. Amen? So let us learn to always walk with God. Let's read Psalm 78, verse 70 to 71. Mm-hmm. He chose David his servant. He chose David his servant. And took him from the sheep pens. And took him from the sheep pens. Just imagine. He chose David and took him from, you know, raising sheep, becoming a, you know, he was a shepherd, taking care of sheep in, on a, you know, in a desert. The Bible said that he chose him and did what, what with him? From tending the sheep, oh, back to you. Mm-hmm. 70. He chose his servant David, calling him from the sheep pens. Mm-hmm. He took David from tending the ewes and lambs mm-hmm. and made him the shepherd of Jacob's descendants. Descendants. Yeah. You know, so he turned him from raising and taking care of the, she- of the sheep and become a man, a leader of, a man, of men. He became a leader of men. Amen. So he took somebody from nothing and make him become somebody. You understand that? He took him from nothing, nobody, and make him become a leader of people. You see how God transitioned him, how God changed him. God has the same power to change you and to change your destiny. Amen? He has power to restore you completely. From nobody, a shepherd, to become a leader and a king. You are somebody special in the sight of God. You carry God's grace. God's mandate is upon you. And because you carry his mandate, you are not a mistake. You are not a problem. You are not a failure. You are not a victim. Amen? So don't see yourself as such, but gather courage and be strong in the Lord, knowing that your God has given you the capability, the ability to conquer your battle and to overcome. Amen. That is how you can live your life and live a blessed life. Or else, the frustration of creation will continue to follow you, will continue to be with you everywhere you go. If you don't frustrate someone, someone will frustrate you. Amen. If someone does not frustrate you, your computer will frustrate you. If your, first, your computer does not frustrate you, your chair even can frustrate you. Your kids can frustrate you. Anything. Amen. That's how the world was created. So frustration is not something that you can run away from. It comes and goes. Amen. So we need to understand that. But when you are with him, when you are nobody, God can make you somebody. 
when you are down to nothing, God can raise you up and make you become somebody greater. That's what happened to David. David was nobody, but he became a leader of people, a king, because the grace of God was upon him. Let's see something. Go to Luke 9 again, 9, 23 and 24. Mm -hmm. Luke 9, 23 to 24. Mm -hmm. Then he said to them all, Then he said to them all, Whoever wants to be my disciple, Whoever wants to be my disciple, Must deny themselves, Must deny themselves, And take up the cross, And take up the cross, Daily, Daily, And follow me, And follow me. You see, So our duty, Is to be in the position of denial, We, we deny ourselves, which means that what I, am, I want to do, I do that no more. I surrender myself totally and wholly to God. And I do what God tells me to do. Amen. He said, whoever follow me must always choose to surrender. So we always surrender to God and pick up our cross to follow him. Amen. What is the cross of Christ? No. Amen. The cross of Christ, when he was carrying the cross, he was not walking in the will of the Father. <laughs> Amen. That was not the will of, of the Father. It was shameful to the Father. Amen. So the struggles in life, the insult, disrespect, the things that you go through in life that Others people may see you and laugh at you. They will ridicule you. They will not, never take you serious in life. They disrespect you anyhow in life. Those are the things. That's the cross. When you follow Jesus, somebody can call you. You know, you're a lazy person. You don't want to work. You don't want to do that, you know. There are so many name calling that's going to be labeled against you. Amen. So all those things are the cross that he's talking about. Amen. But because you know who you are and you know where you're going, you don't let those things bother you because you know that God will justify your cause. He will justify your case for you and position you where you're supposed to be. They that are laughing at you today, they shall see your tomorrow and be ashamed of themselves. Amen. So you don't let those things bother you because you know that your tomorrow is better than today. Amen. That is how we walk with God. Amen. So courage is a strength in the face of pain and difficult, difficulty or fear. The word courage is the strength in the face of pain Difficulties or fear. Amen. So if you have courage, you have overcome pain. You have overcome difficulties. You have overcome fear. Courage. Amen. So you need to always exercise courage in the things of God. You don't let fear take over. Amen. Ephesians 6, 12 says, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world. So you see, the battle is not to the flesh and blood. The battle is to the spiritual world. Amen? And the battle, because we cannot see if the enemy is coming against you or to attack you, to tempt you, you may not see, the, see him coming. You may not even be aware because we have eyes, but we cannot see. Amen? So we have to always understand this. The principle of life is not easy. But they that are strong and courageous, they always conquer their battles. They always win life battle. They become successful. They achieve their goal. They reach their destination. Their destiny is fully fulfilled because God has walked them into their place of destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Courage. 
is the ability to say yes to an invisible God in the face of an invis, invisible giant that say no. You know, so in the face of the invisible giant that say no to you. So it's like when you are saying yes to God, the enemy is also walking with you and telling you, you know, why didn't you say no? <laughs> say no. Don't say yes. But because you know the power of your God, you still insist to maintain your yes. You don't say no because you know that with God, all things are possible. Amen? Strength. Strength in God. Courageous. Be strong and courageous. How? Let us try to study how. How should I be strong and courageous? How can I have courage? Amen? How can I have courage? The first thing that you need to do is to be focused on his word. Focus on the word of God. Focus on, on the word of God. Maintain your consistent Bible study. Study the word of God. Meditate upon the word. Let the word of God sit in your mind, in your heart. You can recite the word of God even without opening the, the Bible. Amen. Don't wait. Now you have it even on your phone. You have the Bible on your phone. You have it on your apps. Read it. Amen. Study the word of God. And filled with his presence, be filled with the presence of God day by day. How do you, how do you, you know, become filled in the pres with the presence of God? You become filled with the presence of God when you meditate on the things of God. You always meditate on him, knowing that he's with you. He has never left you. His presence is with you everywhere, in every situation, in every circumstances. He is with you when you sleep and when you wake up. You are going out and you are coming in. In your meetings, whatsoever you do, his presence is there with you. Amen. You don't feel lonely. You don't feel isolated. You don't feel like rejected. You know that God is with you. Amen. And when you, you see yourself in that manner, you will know for sure that, you know, his presence is with you. Amen. Let's see something. If you read what we read before, Joshua 1, 7 and 8. Joshua 1, 7 and 8. Let's read it, read it again. Be strong and very courageous. It says, be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Be careful, you see, be careful and follow all the laws that my servant Moses gave you, which means that all the instructions of God, every instruction that you receive from Moses, follow them, obey them. Uh-huh. Do not turn from it to the right. Do not turn it from, from left or right. Uh -huh. Then you may be successful. Then you will be successful. Wherever you go. Wherever you go. You see, so the success will come, you know, through your meditation, through your focusing on the word of God, through your, you know, studying the word of God consistently. As you meditate upon the word and always focusing the, on, the, on the word and using the word in your speech, then you become successful. So there's something that you have to do before the success. The success will not come because you cry. Because you are praying and clap, clapping your hands. Or you are sending every, every misfortune back to the sender. That will not change. But do the word. Meditate on the word. And practice the word. As you practice his word, the word will become alive in you. And when the word of God becomes alive in you, then the reality of it appears. The physicality of it comes out. Amen? That is how it works. Don't always cry in your prayer thinking that your tears are, are the ones that God is going to watch and, and, and give you what you need. No. You cannot manipulate God. Amen? 
Some will walk into the house of God and donate, put their donations in, thinking that that is how it's supposed to work. No. Amen? The Bible and the Holy Spirit is your key. Jesus said that I'm not going to leave you comfortless. Amen? I will send you a comforter, somebody that will comfort you when you, do, when you are troubled, when things are not going well. He says, I will send you that comforter. He will be the one to guide you and to show you what to do. Amen? So you wake up in the morning, good morning, Holy Spirit. I'm ready for you. Be my guide. Be my director. Speak through me. Reveal yourself to me today. Show me what I should be doing. Amen. Walk me into my breakthrough, into my success. Amen. Amen. And then you see God move. But instead, we will not do any of such. And then we still want God to bless us. Amen. The reality, sometimes we pretend and then we put ourselves into confusion at all times. But that's not how God wants us to be. So now, let us go into what? And then we will get to the end. Be strong and courageous in what? Amen? In what should we be strong? And in what should we be courageous? So let us try to go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 20 to 21. Are we blessed? Mm -hmm. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil. Woe. The word woe means curse. Amen? So woe to those who call evil good and good evil. There are such, such people among us. They call good evil and evil good. Uh -huh. Continue. Who put darkness for light? They put darkness for light. And light for darkness. And light for darkness. Uh -huh. Who put bitter for, for sweet? They put bitter for sweet. And sweet for bitter. And sweet for bitter. Mm -hmm. 21. Woe to those who are wise is the, in their own eyes. And clever in their own sight. You see? So those who think they are wiser in their own sight. And clever in their own sight. Amen? So he said, woe to them. Amen? So if we practice these things, we cannot see the hand of God. So these are some of the things that we should never allow. We should be strong to overcome them. Be strong never to lie. Amen? Be strong never to, you know, turn things to your advantage. Be strong to always forsake the lies of the devil. Be truthful whether you die or stand. Amen? But most of the time, oh, as long as it's not, it's not my advantage, I have to find a way to fabricate, to make it reality, to justify my cause. Amen. Even though I am wrong, but I still insist that I am right. That is not what will make you to live a good life. If you want to live a good life, stay away from such things. Those who call evil good and good evil, and who put darkness for light and light for darkness. Amen. Don't practice such things if you want to see the hand of God move. If you want your prayers to be more effective and powerful, stay away from that. If it's light, let it be light. If it's darkness, let it remain darkness. Whatsoever, if it's black, it's black. If it's white, it's white. You don't paint the black to become white in order for you to look good. Amen? So you have to always learn to practice the word of God. Amen? Amen? And when we practice his word, we will see the, the glory. So these are some of the things that you need to be strong. 
you need to be courageous to overcome. Amen? So when he says be strong and courageous, this is why you have to be. Because it's not easy not to lie in the world that we live in. Every office you go to, there are somebody, there's somebody there that will force you to lie. Amen. If you are not careful, amen. I went through a, a, a situation this week, and what I learned, you know, that's how the system is made for. Amen. So let's go to the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 5. Verses 10 to 12. Mm -hmm. Blessed are those who are persecuted. Blessed are those who are persecuted. Because of righteousness. Because of righteousness. You see, blessed are those who are persecuted for this, you know, because they are righteous. Because you are righteous and somebody is lying about you, condemning you, trying to put you down, disgracing you, please calm yourself down. Your vindication is closer. Amen. Amen. I had an accident with someone. The, the person is at, at fault. The, the person that did the mistake and caused the accident got out from the car, his own car and came to my car accusing me Pointing finger. I do not know what to do. And, and as a pastor, if somebody see you fighting on the street. So I humbled myself and I was quiet. And all of a sudden, I saw a guy coming, running. He says, guys, stop what you're doing. I saw everything. I'm going to wait for the police to come. This guy came and justified me and set me free. I said, thank you, Jesus. You see? You see? When you leave your battle to the Lord, in the world you may look stupid. You may look like you don't know what to do. You don't have words even to defend yourself. But God will send you a defend. Somebody will come to defend you. Somebody will come to vindicate you and set you free. Amen. So we need to understand that. Amen. That is how we overcome life challenge. Amen. Don't justify your wrong to make it right. Let's go to Matthew. Continue, please. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, mm -hmm. for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Of heaven. Uh -huh. 11. Blessed are you when people insult you. When people insult you. Persecute you. Persecute you. And falsely say, Falsely say all kinds of evil, all kinds of evil against you, because of me. Because of me, rejoice. He says, rejoice and be glad. And be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. Great is your reward in heaven. Amen. So, as a child of God, your battle is the Lord's. You don't pick it up and start fighting. Amen. It will make life more more harder for you. So don't practice those things. Let's see something. Go to Peter again. First Peter chapter 4, verse 14 to 16. Let's see something there. Mm -hmm. If you are insulted because of the name of Christ. If you are insulted because of the name of Christ. You are blessed. You are blessed. For the spirit of glory. For the spirit of glory. And of God. And of God. Rest on you. Rest on you. Uh -huh. If you suffer, if you suffer, it shall not be as a murderer mm -hmm. or thief mm -hmm. or any other kind of criminal mm -hmm. or even as a meddler. He says, if you suffer as a Christian, do not be ashamed, but praise God that you bear that name Christ. Amen. 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 So because you bear that name Christ, don't take it personal. Just walk. It's painful that you are being insulted publicly. People are watching you. They are seeing everything that is going on. Calm yourself down. Amen? For the sake of Christ, for his name's sake, there's a vindication for you. There's a deliverance for you. There's hope coming your way. A restoration is coming your way. 
those that are insulting you, they will locate you and apologize to you. I see it happen most of, most of the time. Amen. So let us learn to walk with God, no matter what. Amen. With him by your side, he would vindicate you and deliver you. Amen. You will be delivered. You will be set free. Be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous. No matter the challenge, no matter the situation, no matter how tough you, you are going through that situation, however it is, whether hot or cold, whatever it is, whether swimming or running, be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous. Your God is in control. Your God is in charge. Your God is with you. He will finish it with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Because he started with you, he will never let you down. He will never reject you. He will never forsake you. He will bring you into your destination in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall live to fulfill your destiny, to fulfill your purpose in life. Your goals in life shall be accomplished because you serve the living God. You serve the living God. You serve the living God. He is the same yesterday. He is the same today and forever shall be the same. Hallelujah. Because you carry his name, blessed are you. You are blessed and highly favored in the name of Jesus Christ. This night, whatever is causing you to be afraid, Jesus. causing panic, Amen. phobia in your life, tonight, be strong Amen. and be courageous. Amen. For your God Jesus. is with you. Amen. Your God is with you. Your God is with you. He will never forsake you. In the name of Jesus Christ, he will never reject you. He will never deny you. In the name of Jesus, your time for victory is now. Jesus. Your time for your breakthrough is now. Amen. Your time for your liberty is now. Jesus. Your time for your testimony is now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. your vindication has come. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Amen. you shall be vindicated. Amen. You shall be vindicated. Amen. You shall be set free. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. whatsoever Jesus. has been written against you, Amen. whatsoever has been declared upon you, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. it can never you know, hold. Jesus. It can never stand. Yes. In the name of Jesus, Amen. you are being set free. You are being liberated Amen. from the top of your head Jesus. to the source of your feet. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. the hand of God is upon you. Amen. His grace and glory is upon you. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Amen. you are highly favored. Amen. 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 So, beloved, we are coming to pray. Amen. Let us come before the Lord tonight as we have heard this word. Jesus. Maybe within you, and what you're going through. You have a sleepless night. You worry over so, so many things. Things are not coming together the way they should. You are not seeing yourself in your rightful place. And it bothers you a lot. It worries you a lot. It's something that you think about too much. You, at times even you conclude that God is not even watching. God is not paying attention towards you. God is not with you anymore. But tonight, I want you to say, Father, I thank you for your strength. I thank you for the courage. I thank you for the boldness that you have given me. Now I know that I am bold. I am strong and I'm courageous in you. And because I carry courage, I can endure. I can, I can be sustained. I can finish my, you know, my journey in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I can finish well. Yes. I can finish successfully. Amen. I can never fail Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So I want you to pray, my Father, my Father. Tonight, tonight, by your word, by your word I, stand I stand in your strength, in your strength and in your courage. And in your courage. I, possess I possess courage and strength, courage and strength. Right, now, right now in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. That, every battle, that every battle, every challenge, every challenge that, I am undertaking that I am undertaking by, bold, by, me, by your boldness, by your boldness and, by your strength, and by your strength, by the spirit of 
courage. By the spirit of courage. I overcome them all. I overcome them, I overcome them all. I overcome them in the name of Jesus. Open up your mouth. Talk to the Father. Talk to him. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, I cast out fear. Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we pray, Father, for your grace and your glory. As I pray, we pray, Father, pray for your mercy, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I am bold and strong. I am strong and courageous because of your grace upon me, because of your mercy upon my life, in the name of Jesus. My Father and my God, I come before you, Lord. I come before you, Lord. Mashuko tolo brosikia. Lo shoko tolo mama rabasikia. Raka shaka tala mama rabasiki tala mama. Baye kashe ke tele kuwa. Raka shanda rabrosukuwa. Le kaba shike tele brosikia. I am strong. I am strong in you, Father. Your strength is my strength. I am courageous, Father. In the name of Jesus, my confidence is in you. I I trust you wholeheartedly, for you are my God. In the name of Jesus, lo shukutulo brosikia, reka shaka tala brosikia, maye kashike tele brosukwa, leka ba shaka tala brakata, leka ba shukutulo brosukwa, maye katata, rianulukia kashike tele brosikia, lo shukutobe gloria, lo shukutulo brosiada, maye kashike tele kuwa. Your mercy and your grace. Your mercy and your grace. Lord, before I leave here, Lord, I pray the Lord, the spirit of courageous, Lord. Father, I pray for the spirit of courageous, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, 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 Raka shaka tala brosu kutulu mama, maye kashe ke tele brosu kutu be gloria. Moshu kutulu mama raba krababa, raka shaka tala mama raba sikuwa. Le kasuta brasata, raka shaka tala kuwa, raka shandara braka tala kuwa. Maka tala kata brosu kutulu brosu kia. Le kaba sheke tele kuwa, raka shanda. Le kashaka tala braka tala kuwa, raka tata. Le kashaka tala brosu kutu be gloria. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, I want you to pray. My Father, there is no other God like you. You are the most high God. 
Father, my faith is in you. My confidence is in you. I remove every fear out of me right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, any sense of phobia in my life, I remove it now. In the name of Jesus, in my heart, I remove it now. In my mind, I remove it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cast out every fear. I cast out every fear. I cast out every fear. And in the name of Jesus, and I replace it, Lord, in your strength and in your courage right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, open up your mouth. And talk to the Father. Talk to the Father. Talk to the Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, you are the mighty God. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, I remove fear. I remove panic. I remove phobia. Every spirit of fear. Father, I bind and cast out in the name of Jesus. Lo sisho kutolo brosikia, braka shaka tala mama, braka shake tere brosikia, braka shaka tala mama rabasikia, lika ba shoko tolo brosikia, lika ba shaka ta, rika shaka tala mama rabakaraba, braka shaka tala kuwa, lika ba kaba kaba, braka shaka tala braka ta, braka shaka tala mama rabakaraba, braka shaka tala brosikua. Kaba kaba kaba, riaka shake telekwa, roka shuko tolo mama raba sikia, lika ba shaka ta, lika ba shuko tolo mama raba sikia. My Father, in the name of Jesus, my hope and my confidence is in You, Father. I trust You, Lord. You are the Most High God. You are the Most High God. Lord, there's no one like unto You, Father. You are the Most High God. I worship You, Lord, and I thank. You. You. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your favor upon our lives. In the name of Jesus, there is no one like unto you, Father. In the name of Jesus, lo shuko tolo brosikia, raka shaka tala brakata, raka shaka tala brakata, lika ba kuri aka shekete, lika ba shekete le brosukwa, makaraka shaka ta, lika ba shekete le brakata. Mayende de kwa rika shake tele brosu kwa lika makaba kaba raka shaka tala braka ta lika ba shake tele gloria ende de brosu kwa makua kwa raka shaka lika ba shake tele kwa lika ba shaka tala braka ta lika shake tele brosu kwa my father and my God my father and my God you are the most high God you are the living God you are the El Shaddai Die. You are the El Elyon. There is no one like unto you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you, Father. I come before you, my Father. Show Basiata, Maye Katita, Katita Riatata, Katita Riatata, Lia Tote Lia Koshe, Lika Bakuria Kashanda, Lika Basheke Telebrosukwa, Muranda de Lia Kashende, Lika Bakaba Kaba. Raka shaka tala fia, lika ba shoko tolo mama, lo shoko to me gloria. Father, every fear, every attitude of fear, any panic in my life, any need for strength, Father, I remove in the name of Jesus. Lo shiki to me gloria, ma shoko tolo brosikia, lika ba shata, raka shaka tala mama, rika shoko tolo brosikia, lika ba shiki to me. Ma 
Makuria Kashakata, Likaba Kabara Kashanda, Likaba Shiketebe Gloria, Masu Telekia, Likaba Suaita, Raka Shiketele Kua, Rika Shede, Makuria Kashiketele Kua, Likaba Kabara Kashanda, Likaba Shiketele Kua, Makuria Kashikete, Rika Shiketele Kua, Ibrusikia, Masita Lantia, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you are my strength. You are my strength. Holy Spirit, you are my strength. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, let me see your grace like never before. Let me see your favor like never before. Father, let me hear from you this month for your glory to be seen. In the name of Jesus, son of David, yes. have mercy upon me. Yes. Have mercy upon me, Father. I plead my case before you. I plead with you, Father, that you locate me through your mercy. For your word declares that your mercy endureth forever. Therefore, Lord, I stand before you tonight seeking for your mercy. Wheresoever I have wronged you, whatsoever I might have done against your will, against your word, Father, forgive me. In the name of Jesus Christ, yes. open up your mouth Lord, and talk to the Father. Jesus. Talk to the Father. Sincerely speaking, talk to him. Father, 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 in the name of Jesus, God of mercy, we come before you tonight. We seek for your mercy. We seek for your grace. We seek for your mercy tonight. For your mercy and glory forever. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, if you are having mercy upon anyone, let it be me tonight, O oh Lord. Have mercy, my Father. Have mercy, Son of David. Let your mercy not speak in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. I just me power shout. We go by Jesus Christ to the name. Say, I just want to bring you what drum. I bless you, my son, my dream. When you were young, I bless you, my son, my dream. I'm a man who no cares. I'm a man who no cares. the Father of all graces, in my seat here, we come before you tonight. We seek for your grace. We seek for your mercy. Have mercy, O Lord. Mashokotolo Brosikia. Lika Bashiketele Brosikua. Bra Bra Shakata. Bra Shiketele Kua. Rika Shakata. Raka Shakata La Mama. My Father, have mercy upon me, Lord. Have mercy. All my mistakes. All my wrong. In the name of Jesus, I plead my, plead my case before you, for you are the unlimited God. You are the faithful God. You alone has the power. You have the authority, Lord. To say that they that love you, O Lord, and run to you, they are safe and they are secure. And your word declares, Father, that if I confess all my sins unto you, you are faithful and just to forgive. Father, as I plead my grace tonight, I yeah, plead, O oh Lord, Lord that you forgive all every mistake, every shortcoming, every inconsistency, every, every, every limitation, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your mercy, Father, speak to you. Let your mercy, 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 Let
In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, I want you to pray concerning your own personal need. And speak by the word, by faith. Father, I declare that I am successful. I declare that I'm a winner. I have achieved my goals, my dreams. I am where you want me to be. By faith, Father, in the name of Jesus, I possess all my possession in the name of Jesus Christ. Open up your mouth and talk to the Father. Talk to the Father. Take it by faith. Take it by faith. Take it by faith. Take it by faith. Oh Lord, why don't you bless my hands, oh Lord Jesus? Bless the works of my hands, oh Lord Jesus. Bless the works of my hands, oh Lord. By faith, receive it. Receive it tonight. By your faith. By your faith. The church shall live by their faith. In the name of Jesus, Son of God, take it by faith. Take it by faith. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Raka shaka tara braka ta lika basho kutulo brosu kutulo mamara bakara baba raka shaka tara braka ta lakwa raka shende braka shike tele kwa raka tata raka shaka tara braka ta la mama makia kachi kitele kwa raka shanda lika baku ya kashende rebo kutulo mamara bakara baba lika basho kitele brosu kwa lika bashanda makara kashaka tara braka ta lika baka bara Raba karaba bara ba karaba ba raka shaka tala mama raba karaba ba raka shaka tala mama raba karaba ba raba kuraka tala mama raba sikia lika ba kuria kashe kitele brusikia ba kuria kashe kitele brusikia rika shaka tala mama Father in the name of Jesus I can never remain stagnant I am moving forward I am getting my sources break through oh Lord in the name of Jesus. Christ. I am blessed by your power. I am blessed by your power. I am blessed lo shekete lo shekete break asia tata rika shakata bro sikia adona bo siata lakia lo shekoto be gloria lika basikita aja krabi sara bo siata tata bria ko shekete maye katita lika shekete le bro sikwa bo sikete la kwa le master de baya i am blessed i am blessed i am blessed Give thank the Lord, Lord a praise. Jesus. Just thank oh, him. Thank, thank the Lord, Lord for Jesus. answering, thank answering you, your Jesus. prayer. Oh, thank you for answering your prayer tonight. Thank the Lord for answer to your prayer. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank him. Thank him, thank him for answer, answering your prayer tonight. You hear me shekete bro sukwa makara ka shekete bra ka shekete le bro sikia father we give you the praise we give you the glory we exalt you because you are so great le ka ba sikia lo shekoto bro sikia bra ka sukato 
la kia kata la kia kasinda kuria kasheke tele kuwa brakata brakata li kase lo shoko tolo brusikia brai katuta ria kasheke te li kaka raku shakata masuta la kia fara kasukata lo shoko tobe gloria we give you the praise Lord we give you the glory we exalt you King of Kings mushikita Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you for tonight. Jesus. We bless you because you are so great. Amen. You are so wonderful. Amen. Father, there is no any other God like you. You are the mightiest of the mighty. You are the greatest of all. You have the power over every power. We come before you tonight with thanksgiving from the bottom of our hearts. We believe, Father, that you are the prayer answering God. For your word declares that they that come to you, run to you, Father, they are saved and they are secured. We believe that as we have run to you, Father, we are saved. We are secured in your presence in the name of Jesus. Therefore, every challenge, every situation, every circumstance presented to you tonight, Father, we believe, Father, that you have allowed us to overcome in the name of Jesus. You have given us the ability, the power to overcome, the power to conquer, the power to destroy, the power to break free. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare our freedom with confidence and with joy, knowing that, Lord, victory belongs to us. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, everyone that is under infirmity, everyone that is under any bondage, Father, in the name of Jesus, I lose them right now. Amen. I lose them right now. Amen. I lose them right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Father, you are the God Almighty. Jesus. Let your right hand be upon each and every one. Father, cause each and every one to be liberated. Grant them access to their miracles. Answers to their prayer answer. Let them receive answer to their prayers. In the mighty name of Jesus. As they receive, Jesus. Father, turn everything into a testimony. Let them sing a new song. Amen. Father, rejoice in your presence, Amen. giving you all the glory. Amen. For you are the miracle worker. Amen. You alone has the power Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now may you receive your miracle. Jesus. May you receive your healing. Receive may you receive your restoration. Receive the Lord blesses you. The Lord grants you success, grants you victory. Grant you big, you know, breakthrough Amen. all over your life Amen. right now. Amen. Right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Receive it. Jesus. Receive it. Amen. Receive it. I receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Amen.